Hello and welcome. My name is Eddie Ambler. In this demo, we're going to discuss how to create an enterprise database service VMDB system on an AMD flex shape. Let's start by opening the navigation menu on the OCI console. Click on Oracle database, Oracle based database VM. Click the create DB systems button to proceed. This will bring up the create DB systems dialog screen. Follow the steps to fill in the information for the DB system. Validate that the compartment shown is where you want your DB system to be created. Enter a display name for your DB system. For the demo, we'll enter My Demo Flex DB System. Select the availability domain in which the DB system will reside, ensuring to select a region that best meets your business needs and satisfies any data location restrictions. For our demo, we will select AD1 in Ashburn. Select Virtual Machine for the Shape Type option to be used for launching the DB system. The shape type selected determines the list of available shapes to select from in the next step. Under Configure Shape, let's click on the Change Shape button. For the shapes, you can choose between AMD or Intel processors. Shapes that use AMD processors are considered flexible shapes. Flex shapes allow you to customize the number of OCPUs in increments of one, while other resources like memory, network, bandwidth, and maximum theoretical IOPS scale proportionally. Shapes that use Intel processors are considered fixed shapes, where the shape selected determines the available resources, such as CPU and memory. For our demo, under the Shape Series section, we will select AMD for our processor. In the Configure OCPU section, we will select our OCPU count of three. Notice that as we move our slider to the left or right, we can see that as we increment the available OCPUs, the memory, network bandwidth, and the theoretical IOPS continues to grow. If we were to select all of the available 64 OCPUs, we would notice that we would be able to allocate the full one terabyte of memory and 40 gigabytes of network bandwidth. For our demo, we will leave our slider on three OCPUs. Click on the Select Shape button to complete the shape selection process. Now let's choose the type of storage management software that we will use with our database VM. Click on Change Storage to see our options. You can choose between Oracle Grid Infrastructure or Logical Volume Manager for the storage management software. Two things to note is that Oracle Grid Infrastructure is recommended for production workloads and that Logical Volume Manager is only available for single node VM systems. For our demo, we will select Grid Infrastructure, which uses ASM for the database storage management. Next, we will configure the storage performance. You can choose between balanced and higher performance storage volumes. Balanced storage volumes are recommended for most workloads and provide a good balance between performance and cost, while higher performance storage volumes are recommended for the most I.O. demanding workloads and large databases. For our demo, we will select higher performance storage volumes, which is the default selection. For the available data storage, select the amount of block storage that you want allocated for the VM DB system. For our demo, we will accept the default of 256 gigabytes. The recovery area storage field displays the amount of storage that will be available for recovery log data based on the amount of storage selected for the data space. You can change the amount of recovery area storage independently after provisioning. Click on the Save Changes button to continue configuring the DB system. Next, we will select the total number of VM nodes that will be in our DB system and the Oracle Database Software Edition that will be supported by the DB system. For our demo, we will select a total node count of two. Notice that as soon as we select two for the node count, the Oracle Database Software Edition defaults to Enterprise Edition Extreme Performance. Enterprise Edition Extreme Performance is required to support Rack or Active Data Guard features. For the optional cluster name, enter My Flex Clus. In the Add SSH section of the page, we will add our SSH public key to access the VMDB system by 
using an SSH tunnel. To add the SSH public key portion of the key pair, you're provided with three options. Generate the SSH key pair from the console, upload the public SSH key file from a previously created set of keys, or to paste the public SSH key into the console. For our demo, we will upload the public SSH key file from a previously created set of keys. We now need to select the license type that we want to use for the virtual machine DB system. The options are license included or bring your own license. For our demo, we will choose the BYOL license type. In the network information section, use the pull down menu to select the VCN in which you want to launch the VMDB system. For our demo, we will select my demo VCN. For the client subnet, let's select Private Subnet My Demo VCN. For our demo, we will leave the Use Network Security Groups box unchecked. For the hosting prefix, let's enter My Flex Host. Notice that the host and domain URL combines the hostname prefix and the host domain name to display the fully qualified domain name for the database. If you click on the Advanced Options link, you will see the ability to optionally select a fault domain time zone, or set tags for the DB system. For our demo, we will not set any advanced options. Click on Next to proceed. Now let's enter the details for the initial database. For the database name, enter MyFlexCDB. For the database unique name suffix, enter Primary. Note that the database unique name is the combination of the database name and the database unique name suffix. Now let's explore the available database images by clicking on the Change Database Image button. You are able to choose between Oracle Database Software Images, which are generally available images, and Custom Database Software Images, which are images that you previously created that contain customized configurations of software updates and patches. For our demo, we will select Oracle Database Software Images for the image type and select 19C from the available version. Click on the Select button to proceed. For the pluggable database name, enter MyFlexPDB. Next, enter the administrator credentials, paying attention to the password format requirements. Ensure that the Use Administrator password for the TDE wallet box is checked to allow for the use of Oracle Managed Keys. For the database workload type, you can choose between Transaction Processing and Data Warehouse. Choose the type that best aligns with your application. For our demo, we will choose Transaction Processing for the database workload type. You can enable automatic backups for this database. You can select the backup retention period, selecting from the available choices. You can also specify the backup scheduling window, selecting a time that best meets your needs. For this demo, we will uncheck the Enable Automatic Backups. Automatic backups can be enabled after the database has been provisioned. If you click on the Advanced Options link, you will find three tabs with options to fine-tune the planned database configuration. The Management tab allows you to change the database character set and the national character set. The Encryption tab allows you to choose between Oracle Managed Keys and Customer Managed Keys. The Tags tab allows you to set tags that allows you to organize and track resources within your tenancy. Click on the Create DB System button to launch the Create DB System workflow. Note on the DB Systems Details page that your VMDB system shows up with a status of provisioning. To check on the provisioning progress of our DB system, on the left rail under Resources, click on Work Request. Then click on the Create DB Systems operation. From here, we'll be able to monitor the progress of our provisioning by monitoring the log messages. Now that the Create DB System work request shows a status of succeeded, click on the DB Systems details link in the breadcrumb trail. This will render the DB Systems details page well, you will note that our DB system has the display name that we provided, a status of available, and the networking configuration that we specified. 
As we scroll down to see the databases on our DB system, we will see our container database named MyFlexCDB. From here, you can see the state of the container database, its database unique name, the workload type, and database version. Click on the MyFlexCDB database name to go to the database details page. This will render the database details page where you will note that our database has the display name that we provided, a state of available, it has no automatic backups enabled, no data guard enabled, and is using Oracle Managed Keys. On the left rail under Resources, click on Pluggable Databases. In the Pluggable Database section of the page, you can see the name of our pluggable database, MyFlexPDB, and its state, which is showing as available. Click on the MyFlexPDB name to go to the Pluggable Database Details page. Near the top of the screen, click on the PDB Connection button to obtain the connection string. You'll note that you have the Easy Connect and the Long Format provided for you. If you click on the Shell link, this will expand the Connect string so that you can use it in your connectivity. Congratulations on accomplishing the mission to create your enterprise database VMDB system. Thanks for watching.